what's up people what's up world um what's going on youtube um i'm riding through louisiana i'm currently on i-10 west i'm like i said i'm heading to texas um, church texas it's right outside of san antonio um but i come to you guys this morning um i got something to share with you guys <laughs> and this video is particularly main um, referring to smaller companies owner operators um, e-log mandate yes guys e-log mandate um, supposedly December of this year 2017 here um, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration is supposed to be mandating all tractors um, I believe it's the year of 2000 and above or two, something like that I got I forgot what it is um, I'm, I, I'm, I've, I've read about it plenty of times but certain tractors are supposed to be having the e-logs my take on e-logs i don't have a problem with that with it at all um and i know how to run e-log the e-log in i know how to do paper log that's one thing about me you know you got some some people out here they don't know how to do they know how to do one but they don't know how to do the other but as I said, my take on it, I don't, I don't, I, I know how to operate both of them. Um, I was talking to an owner operator last night. He's a Landstar runner. We're an older gentleman um, named Vic. Real cool black gentleman, man. Um, that's why I, I, I get a lot of information from these old schools out here. You know, I pay attention to what they tell me. I listen very closely. Especially when it comes to, um, you know, doing something that's going to be beneficial for myself and, you know, my business, my family, and all that, per se. And he has two tractors. Both of them are paid for. And um, if you guys have been watching um, a few of my videos, you guys will probably notice that I said I'm, I'm getting a... I like the Freightliner Coronados, and um, and he he has one, and um, he has his own trailer too. He has a 2006 Freightliner Coronado. He does not have um, log an e-log up in his tractor. Um, he runs paper log. So he's been very, very, very profitable over there at Landstar. He's He's currently been at Landstar for about, um, I think he said 16 years. That says a lot over there, guys. You know, when you get to listening to people like that, that's been at companies like that, that, that long, you know, that's been in the business that long, it says a lot. He said Landstar was his third company he's ever been with, you know. That's where he started as far as his owner his owner operator um, career. He's not married or anything like that. Like I said, he's an old school guy, man. I like talking to these old schools out here that's been out here for a while. But um, anyway, anywho, my take on Eat Law. If the if the uh, if the if the feds mandate that law, there's going to be a lot of owner operators out there that's 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 going to be that's not going to be pleased with that. And um, as I was speaking with Vic last night, he said he's he doesn't like that. You know, he said he he will give up OTR um, because he said he doesn't know how to operate um, e-law. It's just like, 
They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, I'm against that saying right there. You can teach an old dog new tricks if they are willing to learn. Um, my take on that, especially when I get my tractor, um, if I have to, if I, the, if I have to have an e-log in my tractor, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. You know, I look at it like this, guys. Yeah, you have to take the good with the bad. You know what I mean? And if you're not, if if the good is not outweighing the bad, it's something that you're not doing right anyway. Got my pile of coffee this morning. As I said, it's something that you're not doing right anyway. And also, you know, being that I'm a company driver right now, you know, my tractor is governed at 62 miles per hour. Well, right now I'm going 62 miles per hour. I can't go no faster. If I have my own tractor, I'm not, I don't, I'm not having a governor on my tractor. You know, I'm wanting to do whatever the speed limit says. You know, if the speed limit says, like out, let me, let me give you guys an example. Out west, they have some, some real, it's the real deal Holyfield out there. You know, I think you can go 75, 80 miles per hour out west, you know, um, going through New Mexico, Arizona, California, and I think in, in those places out, out west like that. You know, as I said, this tractor right here, this company truck that I'm in, it goes 62 miles per hour. If, if I can go whatever the speed limit says, like in CDL school, they teach you to go with the flow of the traffic. If I'm going with the flow of the traffic, no big deal with me as far as the e-log. Yeah, it's gonna, there's gonna be times where you're not going to be able to get, get your load to your destination whenever it's due. You know, because of different circumstances, let's say you're going through a bad area where, they, where there's a very bad traffic jam, you know, there has been, you know, let's say it's been a fatality on the, on the highway and the, um, the state police is shutting down the highway and you got to um, you, you reroute yourself. I mean, there's all, all sorts of things, all sorts of ways that can jeopardize you like that. But, you know, it just stand, stand, if you're staying on top of your stuff, you know, as I said, it goes back to me, you have to take the good, the good with the bad and the bad with the good. And if the, um, if the good is not outweighing the bad, it's something that you're not doing right. But, um, let me know what you guys think about the e-log mandate. Um, as I said, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I get my tractor, if I have to have it in my tractor, so be it, you know? Um, it's just something that, you know, it's just a curveball that life throws at you. You know, then I look at it like this too. And I've, I've been reading up on this as well. It says that, um, these reports that are out there, it says that if the e-law mandate comes into effect, it's going to put a lot of companies, you know, smaller companies out of business, but it will probably raise um, rates as far as, um, you know, where, where, are, where the shippers are going to be charging, where, you know, to get their freight moved. And I look at it like that. It can be a good thing for some. It can be a bad thing for some. So that's what it, you, you have to you have to look at all your options. You know, don't don't just just like the tractor that I'm looking at. Um, I'm not going to be able to run in California. Like I talked, I was talking to um, Vic last night, yesterday. I asked him. I was like. Does he run California? He said, no. He said, my, I can't go into California because of the, time, the year of my tractor. He has a 2006 Freightliner Coronado with a 14.0. Um, the 
one that I'm looking, the ones that I'm looking at, it has the, it's a glide there, the glider with the 12.7. And you can't run um, California because of the, um, the emissions, the EPA, the DPF, um, the diesel particular filter. If, if you don't have that on your tractor, you, you pretty much can't run California. But it goes back to say, one monkey don't stop no show. You cannot let one state keep you from going, keep you from operating. I, let me let me put it like that. Man, this is a big world out here, man. There is plenty of freight. It's just like when my dispatch that have told me, well, it's not any freight. The freight is, is there's, the, the freight is um, not moving. I was like, bull crap. There's plenty of freight out there. You can't shoot that to me. It may be slow in this area right here, but you have to move into another area where the, the freight is moving. So when when I tell them, when I told the dispatch that one time, they sent me a load to where um, the freight was moving. And you know, and as, me, as I'm being a company driver, I'm seeing how they are running me in the lanes that I like to run and how my, this, this company is running me right now. I particularly stay in the, they run me sort of the, a little bit of the West, but much of the, um, the Midwest and the East, not Northeast, but the East, Eastern part of the States. And, and I love running those lanes, you know. I, I don't I don't like going out west at all because there's no scenery. Um, some people, that's my take on it. There's That's not any scenery. It's, it's, it's flat land. It, it's flats for hours and hours and hours on. I don't like that. I like to see the trees and stuff. I like to see houses and all that stuff, you know. But, um. I'm not gonna hold you guys up too much longer, but um, tell me what you guys think about the e-log mandate. Do you think, is it going to affect you as an owner operator? Is it going to affect your company? You know, um, comment below and um, tell, me, tell me what you guys think about it, but um, I will be giving you guys an update. Um, giving you guys a little more videos and um you guys be safe out there and um peace